today we're in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and I'm dealing with uh, usage procedures, how to use the word of God, the sword of God, which is the spirit of God, the logos, the mind of God, the mythology of God, the medicine of God. One of the things that I want to establish is that when you buy an appliance or you buy something from the store, it always comes with operating instructions. They tell you how to use it and how not to use it, amen, for your own uh, well-being. Well, the Word of God is the same way. God's Word is there as a helper, a healer, and it deals with our habits, our hindrances, and, and it tells us the Word of God. The Word of God tells us the usage which epitomizes how we ought to apply the word of God to our lives. Uh, and, and, and it's here in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and I want to uh, do an offshoot from Hebrews chapter 4. For the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword, cutting both ways, that when you and I study and read the word of God, it cuts inside and out. It, it, it's not just cutting outside and not inside. It's a convictor, a, 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 amen, of, of my evil. It's, it's uh, you know, it, it, it's going to bring me, amen, under the guise of God as I appropriately apply the word of God. Okay, so if we're talking about love, the Bible has a lot to say about love, but love is not a feeling, it's a function. So we got to grow to the function of God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So it's not a feeling, it's a function. It means we ought to submit, we ought to sacrifice, we ought to surrender, amen, we ought to serve, all that's love. We ought to serve one another without expecting something in return. It's not reciprocal, it's one way. It's one way in, and it's allowing God with Amen. The results. So, so one of the things that we want to establish are these operating instructions for the Word of God. The sword of God, which is the Word of God, is very, very interesting. And 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 my first point is that uh, the sword defeats all of my conflict, and we got some conflict. We got internal conflict. We got historical term conflict. We got circumstantial conflict. We got conflict every day. We got conflict, and God's word comes comes along with His wisdom, His way. Amen. It comes along and it helps us to even deal with our warfare, our conflict. We we. Let's just talk about conflict. We got conflict with the kids, conflict in the marriage. We got conflict with money. We got conflict with our own self-esteem. We got conflict with how we perceive ourselves. We got conflict with what we think people, other people would think about. We, we are in conflict every day. And only the word of God, the spirit of God, the sword of God, the logos can deal with my conflict internal and out. Amen. That as I... Pull out the sword of the word, hallelujah, that word, that logos, that wisdom of God. I need the wisdom of God. How do I deal with this particular problem? I need the word of God, for the word of God cannot come back void, but it's going to accomplish what it sets out to do. How do I deal with warfare in my life? I got stuff going on, and it's, it keeps... Amen. Surmounting, it keeps it keeps going up in a flame. It it keeps uh, me in confusion. Only the Word of God, the Spirit of God, can bring your conflict to a calm. When Jesus was on the boat and the storm rose up, and the disciples said, "Don't you care that we perish? Wake up!" And Jesus said, "O ye of little faith," He said, "Listen to this. Did not I tell you we was going to the other side?" Now, he, he never said there wouldn't be any storms. What he said was, where are you going to ultimately end up? God is in control of our lives. And so it, it deals with our conflict. Here in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1, it says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, ministry of reconciliation, amen, ministry of, of, of being renewed in our minds, a ministry of transformation, seeing that we have this ministry as we, listen, 
as we have received mercy, we faint not. What a declarative sentence. We don't faint. Why? Because of the ministry. Because God's hand is on us. Any conflict in your life this evening, you've got to take the conflict and transfer it to Jesus. Lord, this is yours. Take it. I can't deal with it. I'm not able to straighten it out. I'm not able to heal. I'm not able to help. Uh, I got all these hindrances and habits and, and low ebbs. I need you to take all my conflict. And when you pray that by faith, God will leave you with peace. It's not my, it's not my war. It's not my battle. It's not my job to make things better. I'm going to him. And, and so the word of God, like operating instructions, how do you use this appliance? How do you use this tool? It, it, amen. No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Why? The reason weapons cannot hurt us because we got the word and we got the wisdom of God. And, and, and so not only does the, the sword of the spirit defeat our conflict, but secondly, the sword of the spirit brings us amen and develops in us a comfort. And that comfort is God comes along while we're in conflict. God comes along while we're ready to throw the towel in, give up, while we get low, we get depressed, and he brings comfort. The word comfort is parakletos. Paraclete is the Holy Spirit. He comes alongside of us and he tells us, settle down. Be still and know that I'm God. I got this. You stop fighting so I can start fighting. You be still, amen, so I can move. God's word will bring us comfort. How? John 14, let not your hearts, your emotions, your intellect, your volition, let not your hearts be troubled. And the word trouble there has to do with getting hit from all sides. Let not your heart be agitated. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. So faith fuels us with God's presence, peace, and power. And it brings us comfort. Lord, I, I woke up this morning. I got a lot on my mind. I'm not doing well. The kids are not doing well. The marriage is not doing well. The money is not doing well. Lord, I got all kind of conflict going on. Lord, please bring comfort in the name of Jesus. Peace be still. So the word of God will deal with conflict. It will defeat conflict. It will develop a comfort. But finally, the word of God, amen, will give me and demonstrate in me a conquering. Romans chapter 8, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. What is it I need to conquer? All the venom. I need to get victory. Venom, move out the way in the name of Jesus. Venom, go to the side in the name of Jesus. Venom, get lost in the name of Jesus. I am a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror through him. Who loved us. Conflict, comfort, conquering. If you manage through the word of God, through the spirit of God, by the son of God, Jesus Christ, to enable yourself to give all this to Jesus, the conflict, to bring comfort, and to give you a conquering attitude you will be able to sleep with peace because all of your problems and shortcomings have been transferred to the Son of God. And he will give you through the word, through the word, through the word. That's why you got to read the word. You got to study. You got to meditate through the word. I will fear no evil, Psalm 23. What shall separate us from the love of God? Romans 8, nothing. Mm. He that hath begun a good work in you will keep on doing it to the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1 6. That word. Fill your mind and heart with the sword of the Spirit. This is what you hit Satan back with the word of God. You're a liar. Truth is not in you. 
I'm more than a conqueror through him who loved us. God bless you.